They say that all roads lead to Rome, but when it comes to romantic destinations, Venice takes the cake. Today, we shall be unveiling the top 10 things to do in Venice, Italy, a city filled with beauty, history, and mystery. From wandering through enchanting alleyways to indulging in authentic Italian cuisine, this city has something for everyone. So grab your gondola and let's set sail on this adventure together. 10. Explore the Doges Place One of the highlights of the place is the Chamber of the Great Council, which is the largest room in Venice and an architectural marvel. Visitors can also walk across the Bridge of Sighs, an iconic structure that connects the place to the nearby prison. It is believed that the bridge got its name from the prisoner's signs who would cross it and see the outside world for the last time before being incarcerated. To avoid long queues, it is recommended to purchase Skip the Line tickets in advance or join a guided tour that grants fast-track entry. A guided tour will allow visitors to learn more about the place's history, architecture, and significance, making it an unforgettable experience. 9. Cruise Along the Grand Canal Cruising along the Grand Canal is one of the most popular and enjoyable things to do in Venice. The canal, which is the main waterway in Venice, winds its way through the heart of the city and is lined with stunning palaces, churches, and other historic buildings. Other notable sites along the canal include the Cad Oro, a beautiful Gothic palace that houses a museum, and the Peggy Guggenheim Collection, a world-renowned modern art museum. The Basilica di Santa Maria della Salute, a stunning Baroque church, is also located along the canal and is a must-see for architecture and art enthusiasts. Shop local produces at the Rialto Markets. Have you ever wondered where the locals of Venice go to buy fresh produce and seafood? Look no further than the Rialto Markets, one of the city's oldest and most iconic marketplaces. Located near the Rialto Bridge, the markets offer a unique shopping experience that's perfect for foodies and anyone looking to immerse themselves in local Venetian culture. At the Rialto Markets, Visitors can find a wide variety of fresh and locally sourced produce, including fruits, vegetables, and herbs. There are also numerous fish and seafood vendors, offering an impressive selection of fresh catches from the Adriatic Sea. 7. The Local Vibe at Canareggio District One of the best ways to experience the local vibe in Canareggio is to explore its winding streets and alleys on foot. The neighborhood is home to a wide range of small shops, cafes, and restaurants, where locals gather to socialize and unwind. Make sure you check out some of the neighborhood's historic landmarks, including the Jewish Ghetto, the Church of the Madonna del Orto, and the Ca Doro Palace. Another great way to experience the local Venetian vibe in Canareggio is to attend one of the many festivals and events that take place throughout the year. The Festa della Senza, a traditional Venetian celebration that takes place in May, is one of the most popular events in the neighborhood. 6. Get handy and craft your own carnival mask. One of the most iconic and beloved traditions in Venice is the annual carnival celebration. During this festival, locals and tourists alike don elaborate costumes and masks, transforming the city into a vibrant and colorful spectacle. One way to truly embrace the spirit of carnival is to craft your mask. Many local artisans offer mask-making workshops, where visitors can learn the techniques and traditions of Venetian mask-making and create their unique masks to wear during the festival. These workshops offer visitors the chance to get hands-on and craft their one-of-a-kind masterpiece, while also learning about the history and significance of mask-making in Venice. Instructors typically provide all the materials and guidance needed, from the basic mask shape to the intricate details and decorations. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. 5. Party at Venice Carnival During the carnival, the city is transformed into a magical and surreal wonderland, with colorful costumes, elaborate masks, and a festive atmosphere that's hard to match anywhere else. Everywhere you turn, you'll find music, dancing, and good cheer, as locals and visitors alike come together to celebrate the rich history and culture of Venice. Some of the most popular events during the carnival include the grand opening, the flight of the angel, and the grand finale, each offering its unique spectacle and excitement.
But perhaps the most iconic aspect of the carnival is the masquerade balls, where guests dress up in elaborate costumes and masks, and dance the night away in stunning Venetian palaces and historic venues. 4. Get nerdy or photogenic at Libreria Aqua Alta Bookstore. Libreria Aqua Alta is a unique and quirky bookstore located in Venice, known for its creative displays and Instagram-worthy photo opportunities. The store is especially popular with book lovers and photographers who enjoy its eclectic mix of books, vintage magazines, and old maps, all stacked and arranged in a haphazard but charming manner. One of the highlights of the store is the famous book staircase, which is made entirely of old books and leads up to a beautiful view of the canal. Visitors can also browse through the store's selection of books, which range from rare first editions to contemporary titles, or take a leisurely walk through the store's courtyard, which is filled with piles of books and gondolas. 3. Get curious at the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. Curiosity is the engine of achievement, and there's no better place to indulge your curiosity and learn something new than the Leonardo da Vinci Museum in Venice. This museum is dedicated to one of the greatest minds in history, the brilliant polymath Leonardo da Vinci. The museum houses a collection of working models and machines based on Leonardo's designs, including flying machines, hydraulic pumps, and war machines. Visitors can get hands-on with many of the exhibits, trying out the different machines and learning about the principles behind them. The museum also offers interactive displays and multimedia presentations that help bring Leonardo's ideas to life. 2. Appreciate Art at Gallery dell'Accademia Are you an art lover visiting Venice? If so, then the Gallery dell'Accademia is a must-visit destination. This prestigious art museum is home to an impressive collection of Venetian art, spanning from the 14th to the 18th centuries. The museum is housed in a beautiful building that was originally a church and monastery. Its collection includes works by some of the greatest artists of the Venetian Renaissance, such as Bellini, Tintoretto, and Titian. Visitors can explore the museum's collection of paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts, which provide a fascinating insight into the cultural and artistic history of Venice. The museum also hosts temporary exhibitions and events throughout the year, adding to its already impressive range of exhibits. 1. Check out the Spiral Stairway at Palazzo Contarini del Bavallo. As we come to the end of our list of the top things to do in Venice, we can't forget to mention the breathtaking spiral stairway at Palazzo Contarini del Bavolo. This architectural masterpiece is tucked away in a quiet corner of the city, and it's a true hidden gem that's not to be missed. The stairway was built in the 15th century and is renowned for its intricate design and beautiful arches. Visitors can climb to the top of the stairway for a stunning view of the city or simply admire the architecture from the ground. Thanks for watching our video on the 10 best things to do in Venice, Italy. We hope you found some inspiration for your next adventure in this stunning city. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and tips. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave us a comment below telling us your favorite activity in Venice. Your feedback helps us create better content and plan future videos. Bye and see you soon.